course, I'm YouTube. I'm just going to show you a little video here. Uh, I'm currently encrypting my operating system drive on my Lenovo gaming laptop. Um, I'm going on holiday for a few uh, few days, um, and I don't really want my you know laptop being stolen, people having access to my data. Um, I've upgraded to Windows 10 Pro, um, which you need to enable BitLocker. Uh, my my laptop itself does not have a trusted platform module, so by default, Windows will not allow you to um, enable BitLocker encryption. So what I'm going to show you is actually how to um, get around this and unlock your machine with a password or PIN. Um, so first thing you need to do, you need to go to start and type in gpedit.msc. And what you want to do, this is the local group policy editor. Um, what you want to do is go down to administrative templates, uh, Windows components, and then you've got BitLocker drive encryption. And I'm interested here in operating system drives. And I've enabled four settings here. So we've got require additional authentication at startup. Um, and I, this setting is by default not configured, so I've enabled it. I've put a tick in this box here, allow BitLocker without compatible TPM. Um, on Windows 10 Pro, you can now put password in. On Windows 7 Enterprise, you have to use a USB flash drive. So all the other settings you leave there, you just put that tick in, in that radio button there. Um, I've done the same uh, on this one. This is for older versions of Windows, but I've, I've enabled it anyway and done the same thing. Uh, and I've also enabled these two settings. So one is allow enhanced pins, which is um, things without numeric uh, passcodes like exclamation marks etc um, and then I've changed the minimum password length and I've put mine up to six characters and you can have maximum of 20. So after doing that um, you basically get the option to encrypt your drive uh, and it allows you to go through it. So when you go through the BitLocker process um, you no longer get an error message and it gives you the option of uh, using a passphrase or using a USB key. So once you do that, you reboot your machine, you'll enter your passphrase, um, uh, you plug into Windows, and as you can see, there is still encrypting my disk. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck.